what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so we're gonna check out when talking trash goes wrong episode two you guys were enjoying the first episode so we're gonna check out the second episode uh this should be good man like i said on the first episode man when it comes to this trash talking especially in contact sports you gotta be able to back it up and if you can't back it up and you get your ass whooped well you know well that's just part of the game man and videos like this get created you know what i'm saying so we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love and support uh, i know you guys do want me to check out some more mma uh type content so guess what i will for sure so send me the links of some different compilations and mma clips you want me to check out and uh we will get right into it man let's do this man it's supposed to be you know um first grateful to cowboy for taking the fight maybe against his better judgment oh okay i just see myself facing an insecure little lad swinging on a saddle with a pop gun and a feather in his hat I'll be sending your geriatric ass fucking yeehawing back to the stables on Saturday. I oh. do look fucking healthy. I look great. You look like you've served the last two terms in the fucking Oval Office. You look worn out. Oh. You look aged and withered. I focus oh. on one thing and one thing only. I know I'm going to be a champion. He's number two. He's always been number two. I'm going to be number one. Oh. oh. There's a difference between watching a man on the screen and watching him stand across from you. And there oh. will be none of that respect upheld. I won't respect his space. I won't respect the air he's breathing. <laughs> and I'm going to press and break him in the octagon oh it's a completely different world now. oh Maybe my it's, it's the commentary as he's getting his ass beat all the shit he was talking and he was getting destroyed oh my god jeez i'm on the road to the throne oh what you gonna do better than me Everything. You gonna wrestle me? Everything. If we get in the octagon and I can throw no punches, no knees, Everything. no takedowns, no submission, I would kick your ass and just wrestle flat out. Beat your ass in real life. Beat your ass on TV, Stop. nigga. I'll beat your ass with some beef shit. Beat your ass on GP. Oh man. Sneak tip. Niggas run when they see me. Now your eyes fucking popping out when you seeing shit. Damn, he he is getting bodied. When it come down to striking, I would knock you out flat out. To the white meat, knock out all your white teeth. Oh no, that oh no. Oh no. Oh oh no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I had to pause this. He's he's definitely he was getting worked here. But apparently, isn't Willie supposed to be fighting Jake Paul? I'm 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 more than positive he's supposed to be fighting Jake Paul. So that's supposed to be a thing in, in a boxing ring. And then I know who Usman is. Dude is a beast. I've seen a few of his fights. Dude is fucking phenomenal. So it's, yeah, I, I'm I'm not well well versed in MMA and who people are and their records and stuff like that, their accomplishments. But like I said, I'm I'm trying to get more involved and trying to start watching more UFC cards and stuff like that. So I do recognize these two people. You know what I'm saying? These two athletes warriors because there's no way in hell i could be in that the octagon getting pummeled like that man but shout out to both of them bro but yeah willie he was talking some trash and getting his ass beat up i, I hope this doesn't happen to him against jake please don't bro oh 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 he ate that Oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. When it comes down to grappling, I will break your arm flat out. There's that, nothing you can bring beat that energy. Me in. I'm March 2nd, bring that energy. I'm stronger than you, and I promise you, if you come at less than 100%, March 2nd, bring that energy. you would think about, you would reconsider fighting every bring that day energy. of your life. I uh oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, oh my. The judges score the contest. 50-44, 50-44, and 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new. How you going to beat me? Oh. Domination. His head bouncing off the canvas. This right here. I know about this. I watched this happen like the lead up to this fight this is the epitome 
of when trash talking goes wrong. This got personal. Not just on no trying to set up a fight. Connor was going out his way to disrespect Khabib and his beliefs, his family, his religion. It wasn't, and Khabib don't play that. I'm, I'm sure Khabib doesn't really care too much about the trash talking. But when you go for his family, his religion, his faith, he did not play that, bro. He legitimately was trying to end Conor McGregor. I saw how that match ended and the type of submission he had on him. Like, uh, I believe it's called a neck crank. Like, even when the ref stopped the match, he was still holding on with just in this incredible grip. Like, he was trying to end Conor McGregor. It was not no no respect Anything like that. It, oh, man, we got to watch this. I already know this one's this one's going to be good. All I, his pony talk is going to be fucking put on blast October 6th. Came back for the love of this. To come and shut this man up. A little rat. A little weasel. He's a glass jaw. The Chechens, the che my Chechen friends, the Vainaki soldiers, they told me that they have chicken jaws in Dagestan. And I believe them because I know a glass jaw when I see one. And I've seen this man wobble many times. I've seen his brother sparked unconscious in another promotion. I know he is afraid of a smack. And if you're afraid of a smack off me, a smack will feel like a double barrel shotgun. You hold on to legs for dear life. That's how you fight. You talk chicken this, chicken that, you shit your, you shit your jokes when shit came on top. But you actually fight like a little shitty jokes rat anyway. Damn. You die for the legs and hold on to them for dear life. What kind of, what kind of fighting is that? What kind of man, what kind of, what kind of way of, uh, uh, McGregor of fighting is that? was... But this man is a glass jaw What's bum. Ass, and I'm going to shatter him. Your little fake belt over there, you'll be a guy, a, a number 11 ranked, a, a real estate agent. And you, you, you bring that belt up on, on stage like, like it's a real belt. You're a phony, a fake. <laughs> Khabib gonna... just not not saying a single thing. The whole bus incident too. McGregor, throw, oh, I said McGregor. McGregor throwing the like this little steel like rail at the bus. You know, shattering the window. It, it just it got out of control very quickly. But it was great hype for the uh, for the fight, bro. I'm gonna expose you. Now you're up on the real shit, kid. You're with the real dogs now, bro, brother, yeah? And you're going to be smoked October 6th. Thanks, God. I don't give a fuck what he's going to try and do. He's going he's to be swinging wildly like he is, sloppy, shooting for the legs. He's an amateur. He's a 20... Would you believe he's 26 and 0? I've never met a tw an, unbeaten, an unbeaten amateur uh, in, in the professional game. I mean, he's fucking for nobody. Absolutely nobody. Anyone that he's half for has been decisions. He's in over his head. I'm going to pick him apart and bully him in there. Oh! Oh! And that's the problem with takedowns is they gain the respect for the strike man up from the overhand. He goes back and forth, and that's what's made Nurmagomedov the best. Mm-hmm. Oh, big right hands landing from Nurmagomedov. Who came into this fight. Bro, Khabib was beating the brakes off of him while talking shit. He's like, yeah, let's talk now. Let's talk. Let's, let's let's keep that same energy. That same energy. This entire press run. The disrespect to my family. The disrespect to my religion. You attacking my my tour bus. My my you know like well I wouldn't call it a tour bus, but him attacking the bus that he was in, like just not respecting him as a fighter, as a human being. Damn near. He's like, let's talk. As he's smashing him, beating the brakes off him. Let's talk. Bro, that's oh, that's a different level of savagery. Unquestionably in the best shape of his life. Oh, I'm talking to him. I can't oh hear my sad, god. Oh, that's Khabib talking. Man. He's he's not saying nice things. No. <laughs> Fifteen minutes in the books. And Connor's talking about his only business. To him, nah, it wasn't business, bro. To him, he's like, all right. It's only business, I bet. I'm still beat the brakes off of you. Whether it's business or not, I take this personally, bro. Oh my God, this is. We head to the championship rounds. Hey. Grabbing. Let's go. What did Khabib just say? Bro, just, just beating the, uh, he's beating his ass, bro. 
Oh my God. Watching this. Oh my. Oh my God. Good entry by Nermago Matt. Advantage. Yep, right there. Right there. It's not like a choke. It's like pressure like right under the chin look how tight he's holding it like bro look out look up look at the pressure like there's nothing mcgregor can do there is either he tap or he damn near passes out bro and oh my gosh bro look at this he didn't even let go right away and connor forced to tap and khabib still furious yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was. It was legitimate after the fight issues here. Oh, yeah, bro. That that wasn't a traditional. You suffer from anxiety. You know, okay, the fight is over. You know, great competitor. You know, you shake the person's hand and go on about your day. No. Khabib was not having it, bro. He went straight to Connor's camp, was talking mad shit. I made your boy tap out, bro. I had your boy's life in, like, not in the palm of my hand, but I had his life, you know, right where my arm is. I was about to end your boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a different type of flex, man. So I'm glad they put this clip in here. Uh, hopefully there's more some more parts to this we definitely will check them out if there are some more parts to this man but this is dope man once again if you're gonna talk trash you gotta make sure you back it up because if you don't back it up you end up on compilations like this and people will forever mean you you will be a legendary meme so comment down below let me know if you guys want more of these mma when trash talking go wrong type videos or you want me to check out some mma clips some boxing clips you know let me know man i'll, I'll definitely do that for you guys because you know i have you know been recently getting more into mma and into well i've been into boxing but you know actually checking it out on my channel could be something interesting if you guys will want that send me some clips appreciate all that ah, i can't even talk right now man i'm just so amped up right now <laughs> appreciate all the love and support road to 60k appreciate y'all kicking it with me i'll see y'all next one peace